Good evening, my ghosties and ghouls and witches and wizards, and welcome back to Lux Nux's 13 games of Halloween! <laughs> and tonight, your host is once again the dark and spoopy Nox. Hey, guys, yeah, it's me again, and um, for today, I have a little bit of a more relaxing game. I don't, I don't know if I want to say it's too spoopy. Obviously, it's like called Spooky Bonus, but it, it's, a, it's a match three game, kind of like Bejeweled. I, I don't know if you guys enjoy that, but I like playing things like Bejeweled and especially a game called Swapples, if you remember that for OMG Pop. That, that was like one of my favorite games, but I like match three games, so I decided I would play this today since it's been quite a taxing Friday, and you know, even though it's just Friday night, you, you need to relax. So nothing too intense, and uh, yeah, this game is on Steam for $9.99. It's not really on sale right now, but I've already uh, started the um, I already started my uh, player. I created a player or character, whatever you want. And I have played a little bit of this game to understand what it is. Who oh knows? Strange goings on in Old Town. That's not good. Eh? Yeah, we're just we're just gonna jump right into it because I, I find this so so fun. It's it's I don't know it's weird. I don't know why I find it fun. It's just like a, a match three game, but um, let's see. So we can okay. So you can decide between time to relax, and I I chose time because for me that's. I don't know. I, I like a little bit of a challenge. I mean, they're supposed to be relaxing. I like a little bit of a challenge. But this game has uh, a lot of levels, as you can see here. And it also has a thing where you can you have your own house. And as you go along through each level, you unlock more items with which you can decorate your house. So that's the thing. And you can also make the uh, the wall the thing as a wallpaper as you decorate your house. But I'm, I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to go right back to the map and play the first level. So obviously there is going to be... A tutorial here so it's gonna tell us like what to do welcome to old town old town is full of spooky places for you to explore try and make it to the crypt at the end to find out what's inside so yeah we're just gonna we're gonna go ahead and play and tell us what to do so as always the point of this is to get meet the goal here and try to get this done as quickly as you possibly can the faster you do it the uh, bigger of a time bonus you get that's I feel like that's basically the point of any uh, match three games, so we're just gonna go through it and try to see how quickly we can finish this We do need to collect as many witches hats as we can so I'm gonna try to focus on that when possible I have I need another 12 so let's see what we can do here get rid of those get rid of those and the witches hats there and those witches hats there and there and we are just about done We just need to find another set of witches hats somewhere around here. This needs to go Alrighty, so we just yeah, it's gonna be a little harder than the first time I played. There we go. So I just cleared that off. I got all the witches' hats necessary, but eventually, yes, you will need to like get, unlock four different things. But oh, here is our first item: a pumpkin. You found an evil-looking pumpkin. Take it home and decorate your yard with it. Okay, so I'll do that. So we only got 19. Well, not only, but we got 1960 uh, in bonus points for having three minutes and 16 seconds left. We only took 44 seconds with that one. So yeah, that was quick. Obviously, as you go on, the levels are going to get harder and harder. But um, if you uh, use any gold tiles, gold skulls, gold coins, things like that, you get a bonus, and then it totals it all in the end. So let us continue here and s okay. Hi, I'm Agnes, the local curiosity shop owner. That's a nice pumpkin you got there. I'll go and rummage in my store to see what else I can find. Okay, Agnes, I'm just gonna put this down. See, the price is free because we just like won it for completing the the first uh, puzzle there. And uh, effect, it gives you the pumpkin bomb bonus, which expects splatters, which means that you can um, break a few tiles in your next level. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you here how it's done. Uh, you will eventually- okay, for this one you have to get 40, uh, skull books here. But at some point, not quite yet- aha, there, we have our pumpkin here, so we're just gonna blow up- yep, everything that was around it. We also have these bonus ones, so obviously the fireworks are gonna, you know, explode in every which way direction, and the flashlight is gonna light up everything in the one row in which it's placed. So we have uh, quite a few pumpkins here, so let's just blow up some books that are around us. And we need 12 more books. So there's one. We have to get rid of maybe that. I want to get rid of these frogs so I can get that book down here. And let's 
try to get this. I, I don't. I need more cats over here. That's what I need. Oh, there's some more books. I need two more books. Oh man, get out of my way. I think we can do it right here. Yep, there we go. We got it. I, I, that wasn't as fast as I would have liked it to be, but well, we didn't. Yeah, well done. Uh huh. So now you found a beautiful silver candelabra. It will look great on your porch. So the candelabra. Let's see what it does. The candelabra gives you the silver bullet bonus. Highly effective against evil. So this is basically as far as I got last time. Because I decided that I would just like jump into it and play a little more for you guys. So let's go on to the third level. This time we have to get uh, 37 gold tiles now. Make a match over gold tiles to collect them. So we're going to do that and we're going to try. And I emphasize try. Okay, I hate that. I'm going to emphasize try really hard because I'm going to try to get as many gold tiles as I can. I, like I said, I've never done this before. So this is going to be a little tricky. I can't just go and match things up every which way. So... Oh, I do have some bombs, so I can get that. There we go. It's always harder to make uh, matches up top, so that's, that's going to be a little... Yeah, see? That's going to be a little bit tricky. We're going to do that. Maybe we can get a pumpkin and smash something there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, we just need to get two more gold tiles, which are these two in the corners here. That's... that's Yeah, that's definitely tricky. What are we going to do for that? Oh, we do have a silver bullet. So we exploded that. We're going to do this and... You know, I need I need those down here, so I'm just gonna do that instead. And oh, this is oh, that is trick. Mm. It's a trick or treat. Okay, that was not nice. I'm gonna move it up. Nope, that's still okay. And we got a bat. So hey, we finished it, but we're not as quickly as we did. So we're gonna get less uh less of a time bonus there. Yeah, we only got 17:30 this time, but we did explode all 37 gold tiles because that was what was necessary for the level. I, f I figure that sometimes it's not going to be one of the necessities for the level. Hello again. I found a coffin full of wood stakes in my store. Uh, that, that was an accent. The stakes might come in handy and the coffin will make a great decoration. So this... Okay, so we got a wood coffin. This is going to look great in a hole in your lawn. Just don't fall in. So the effect that gives you is the wooden stake power for destroying selected tiles. And it costs 30. And we do have... Um, 37 so we're gonna go ahead and get that all right and then we're just gonna go on to the next one and I might just do another one after this one I'm not sure we'll see uh, how it goes so spooky woods there are reports of witches in these woods who are up to no good also there are toads lots of toads all right, so let's just play this one. We have to get 57. Oh, use the stake to destroy an item anywhere in the grid. So that's going to be useful. I'm going to hold on to that until we absolutely need it. Like we have one more gold tile left or something like that. For now, let's just go ahead and start uh, grabbing some of these gold tiles as we can. And yeah, let's just let's do it. Let's do it. What is it? Collect magic dust to charge your power-ups. Okay. I will try to remember that. I should have saved that stake for something else. I mean, that, um, that silver bullet. I was just like, well, what's it called? Okay, I'm going to try to get some more of these there. Ooh, that's a tricky one. I'm going to just do that. Mm -hmm. Get a silver bullet for that. Get that there. And do I have any cauldron? Yes, I do. I have a cauldron right there. An eyeball right there. Oh, a ghosty right there. Mm-hmm. We're actually not doing half bad with this one. Although it is a bit slow, I will admit. Okay, and we're just gonna... Oh, we do have a ghost right here. Okay, we're just gonna explode that one with the stake and... I said explode that one. We're just gonna take that one off with the stake. And, uh, yeah. So, we got a, a pretty good time bonus here. A 2350. Uh, I, I don't mind that at all. And this is gonna... I guess this is a new, different wallpaper than the one we were getting before. But I don't want it. Take a look at this Celtic cross gravestone. It will look great in your yard. And if you buy it now, if you buy it, I'll throw it in a free silver cross. I know that's not an old lady voice, but like, okay, I'll do a creepy old lady voice in here. Like something like this. <laughs> okay. Okay. This traditional Celtic cross will look fabulous on your lawn. Uh, gives you the silver cross bonus. Nothing can withstand it. We can afford it. So I'm going to do it. I feel like at some point I'm not going to want to buy everything. So I'm just going to... 
maybe not buy everything eventually. But yeah, this this is the last level that'll do for you guys. It do, like I said, it does get harder as you go, and I'm not trying to like you know evade difficulty. But um, I just I want to make sure that you know you get to uh, experience the game on your own. So let me just yeah let me do that. And wow, okay. Ah, I messed that up. I did this. Okay. Let's blow that up and books and I don't have anything down here, do I? No, so I'll just blow that up too. Let's get that and oh, this isn't this is different. So I wanna I wanna see that. Maybe if I move it up, it will give me more points. That's what it did. Okay. I am not mad at all. So let's just let's oh. Okay, and there we go. We need more skulls, though, just to finish it off. So let's see what we can do in the realm of the skulls. Wanna... Oh, that... Oh, we still need eight. So close. So, so close. Let's try that. And we need two more. There we go. We are done with that one. Alright, so this is a spoopy game. Oh, oh, that time bonus was really bad. That's unfortunate. But yes, that is how the spoopy game goes, and that is the end of this uh, showing of a game. <laughs> that's no, that's not what we call it. Anyway, yeah, that is it for this uh, day three, I believe, of the thirteen games of Halloween. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. We still have another ten days to celebrate Halloween with games, and oh, we have so so many different uh, types of games to show you not just puzzle games no there will be things like i believe we're gonna do doom bots league of legends and overwatch and team fortress 2 just came out with their halloween with their yearly halloween thing so we will definitely do that so stay tuned for that but as always thank you so much for watching and have an evil and awesome night <laughs>